Okay, I'm back. I have that core made uh, as I talked about in the last vid. It's um, it's iron wire. It's a little smaller gauge than the um, coat hanger wire, but it's exactly half. That's 150 uh, grams of iron wire, or it's got a really good iron content, right? Now I've also um, kept sort of the same dimensions, well, I mean same length of uh, wire and the measurement from this wood which didn't move and when it does I, it goes right back in those same two holes, it's easier and more consistent. But we got six centimeters here and four centimeters on the inside just like before from inside to inside. And I'm going to get it going and uh, do most of my babbling as it's going. But basically, uh, we're sort of continuing the same thing. But uh, this time, we have a smaller core. It's half the iron. Uh, this coil sets the 25 gauge uh, one and a half kilos. So it's a 10 to 1 copper to iron ratio this time. We'll see what happens. Now I suspect that the, uh, well, first of all, I have a switch on it this time. And right now the switch is open, uh, just like this diagram right here. So there's no short across there. The switch is open to begin with. And we're going to let the wheel settle at its speed, basically just having the core traction to the wheel, which I suspect will be higher than the 11.9 we found, right? because there's less iron at the same distance. So I suspect that speed that it settles at will be higher than 11.9 and then we'll engage the coils and we'll see how close it gets to 17.7 .7, which is our goal speed here on the uh, little indicator coil. And again soon we'll have an RPM readings to go with this but it's a fairly low RPM. Uh, the input voltage of the battery is 12.6 and here we go I'm gonna give her a whirl set this down for a sec make sure the coils are the switch is open not engaged give it a flip get it going So the coil's not engaged, right? The wheel's speeding up. Previously with double the amount of iron, it, it basically stopped at 11.9. I suspect it'll speed up because the iron's at the same distance to the magnets, in the same position, but it's half the iron. So we suspect this will speed up. higher than 11.9 and when it settles at its steady speed here with the core traction there what I'm going to do is uh, engage the coils and we'll see what sort of improvement that makes see how close it gets to that 17.7 and then maybe make a percentage comparison. I have my calculator out, but I don't want to drag these vids out too much. So the wheel's heavy. It takes a second for that little tiny motor to get her up to top notch. Without the coils engaged or shorted, uh, there's more work for the motor to do. Right? So it's pulling some more amperage. 2.42 right now but again there's less iron on there okay it looks like it's close to it having settled I'm gonna write those down I have another little chart made but we'll give it just maybe 30 more seconds again I don't want to drag it out 
we'll get the point from what we're doing here. I think we're going to call it 13.8 volts on the speed. 13.8 volts on the speed. It's probably gained. <laughs> so 13.8 volts on the speed. The starting battery was 12.60. Input amps, 2.42. And again, I'll consolidate all this dot 12.41. Okay, so we have those numbers. And what I'm going to do now is reach over and flip the switch. So now the coils are shorted. That switch is closed. I can hear the wheel speeding up. And let's have a look at what it does numbers wise. Already we see the uh, measuring coil voltage is rising. Sounds like it's still speeding. I'm just kind of crouching behind an end table that I'm using as a tripod. So it seems to be still speeding. Input amps have dropped a little. 15.2 is what this coil set gave on the other core. Shorted 15.2 volts on the measuring the speed coil. So we're past that one notch, which really isn't that significant, but it seems to still be gaining speed. Now I suspect that with the smaller coil, same size coil, sorry, and the smaller core, I, I was sitting there making the core and wondering how this was going to play out. Let's see here. So already we have more speed than we did with the 300 gram coil, or core. So with half the iron in the core, we're still getting at least the same amount of speed. With the 300 gram coil, it was 15.2. And right now we're at 15.4 with this coil. And I thought it sounded like it was moving a little faster and it's peaking at 15.5 now. I really don't want this to go too long. <clears throat> but it just seems to be creeping up there. That 16 gauge test I did last, it, it was still creeping a bit, I think in the upwards direction. Now I'm curious to know what the current comparison now is with the two different cores, obviously, on those uh, coils. Okay, we're going to call it a test. I think that's it. We'll call it 15.5 in speed. Input 2.37, again with the extra speed at 12.40, perhaps with a little extended time that we could do this. <clears throat> okay, test is over. I'm going to uh, want to think about this. <laughs> I'm um, turning it off. Okay, so I'd have to say very interesting.
Oh, where's my chart? Here it is. So with half the amount of iron, right? We basically, here's the unshorted speed, right? 13.8, just a little bit above that 11.9. And now with it shorted, it went 15.5, which actually is greater than the speed we measured with the 300 gram core. <laughs> so I think I have an idea what's going on, but I don't want to drag this out. Um, next, uh, I'm not going to promise what the next test is, but it'll be either again tonight or first thing tomorrow. Talk to you later.